Hi, hello, welcome back to the channel. We are out fossil hunting today in uh, Denmark. So uh, this is uh, my cousin Johannes. He is uh, helping with me today to find the uh, great stuff. <laughs> we are today in uh, Denmark, as I said. We are at a location right now called Klimt or Stames Kalkbruk. <laughs> it's a quarry. Uh, and what we are looking for today is uh, sea urchins and perhaps some shark's teeth and uh, some corals and maybe some other cool stuff. Who knows, who knows what will turn up when we start digging. So we have special permission to be here today and look for fossils. So uh, wish us luck and I'll see you again in a bit. It's uh, This day is quite where not quite, it's very, very hot. And this uh, quarry uh, is very hard to access. And we got permission to be out of the way of the machinery and stuff. And, uh, but it's uh, hard to, uh, to get to where we, to where we want to be. So uh, right now we are on the piles up on the hill here, looking for stuff. And if we get lucky, we can find some, some nice fossils here as well. So. Uh, well, let's let's take a look. This is a brachypod. Uh, this one, but still nice find. Let's look around some more and see what turns up. So I found the first sea urchin. Sea urchin. It's kind of an uh, yeah. These layers are. Uh, about, I think they're about 60 to 65 million years old or so. It's um, mixed up with some Cretaceous stuff as well. And uh, I found this uh, laying around here. I've just peeled off a bit of the, you can see the, the side of the urchin on the top and some of the underside. And I'm gonna try and get it, get this one out a bit more when I get the chance. But still nice first find. Well, I've uh, managed to find another fossil here in this, uh, in this rock pile. I think it's a uh, coral of some sort. Looks pretty nice. I'm not gonna try and get it more out of the rock than it is already is. See the edge is right there. So uh, I'll take this one home as it is and I'll prep it from on the other side to get it revealed. I think it's a quite a nice coral actually, so I'll keep that one. Happy about that. Let's continue. Well guys, I've uh, located a nice piece here. I uh, managed to see managed to see this uh, sea urchin here on the on the edge, as you can see. And then when I was uh, splitting the rock to uh, Reduce the size, something else popped up. I'm not entirely sure what this is yet, but I think it might be a Gryphea or something. It's a kind of oyster, devil's toenail, also known as. So, uh, this is a nice find, it's quite big. And the sea urchin is also uh, quite nice and big. And I think it will clean up very nice, so you can see the scales and everything. And uh, this is kind of a soft uh, lime uh, stone and uh, the fossils are very fragile so I've uh, glued a little bit of this of the shell here so it won't fall off. Now I'm gonna take it back to the car and uh, continue. Nice find. Got myself another another echinoid. This is a quite a large large one. Fortunately it's a bit crushed on this side. Still a nice piece. You can also see the the actual shell is still there. So I'm happy with this one. I hope to find a complete one before I leave this place. But just look at this. This is quite beautiful water. It's all turquoise. And uh, yeah, it's quite a large site. Lots of interesting stuff to look through. So far I've just managed to find a few brachiopods and maybe a 
the Gryphia I showed you earlier. So I'll crack on for a little bit more and get back to you when I find something of interest. So now we're at the uh, beach instead. The uh, quarry was like a, a furnace, so we spent a couple of hours, about two hours there and then uh, just couldn't take it anymore. So now we are on the beach. I'm gonna look for some uh, fossils here on the beach. My cousin is about to take a swim as well. Uh, I'll move along here, along the shore. But I hope we can find something interesting, except for my cousin. <laughs> so let's see what turns up here. What we are looking for here uh, in particular is um, Echino uh, there are echinoids as well. You can find them here in clean concretions. Actually, this whole beach is uh, a huge pile of flint, flint nodules. So I'll just cruise along here and see if anything turns up worth taking. So far, I haven't managed to find much at all. Uh, except from uh, a seal carcass, <laughs> that's uh, kind of gross actually. Mm, there you go. Mm, I'm not gonna get any closer than that. He's quite dead, all right. Of flies and stuff. So, hmm, I'm gonna leave him and uh, continue looking. You can see all the cliffs here. Shouldn't go too too near them. They are a bit fragile, so uh, I'll just keep walking along the beach here and I hope uh, something nice turns up eventually. No echinoids so far. Now we have arrived to a uh, site named Stevens Klint, and uh, it's a place along the coast here when you can see the actual impact from the asteroid that killed off the dinosaur 66 million years ago so this should be one of the best sites in the world to look at, at this uh, spot in the cliff this layer just gonna have to <laughs> walk down these uh, incredible steep stairs and down isn't a problem when we met but we are uh, supposed to get up this way as well so let's see how it goes i'll give you an update when i find the spot in the cliff. So now we have arrived on the beach. It's a beautiful location. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And uh, here you can see the, the KT boundary. This is the uh, layer uh, in which we have the, the Danian uh, rocks on the top and on Underneath the overhang you can see the late Cretaceous Maastrichtian rocks uh, rock formations and in between we have the, the kind of a greyish line and that is the actual asteroid impact zone. It's quite cool to see this uh, and this was also where uh, Dr. Alvarez made his final samples to uh, uh, strengthen his uh, theory about the asteroid uh, impact that killed all the dinosaurs 66 million years ago. So this is one of the best sites in the world to actually see the KT boundary like this. Uh, very nice, very cool. So uh, there aren't much of anything here according to fossils. On the last beach I was uh, filming before, I didn't find any echinoids either, so I was looking for. But uh, we're going to another location to tonight, and I hope I will find some nice echinoids there. But just take a look at this wonderful site. It's uh, really cool to be here and to see this. I love, love it, actually. If it wasn't for the fossils, I can stay here all day long, just taking a swim, enjoying the weather. 
but uh, we have fossils to find, so let's let's uh, crack on. Well, well, we are at another location. This is a location called Treldenes. It's in Denmark, obviously, still. And um, at this location you can find um, a variety of fossils, but uh, it's most famous for uh, crab nodules, oligocene stuff, I think, and even shark teeth. So um, we're gonna go along the, the coast here, the beach, and see what eventually turns up. I hope something nice will turn up this evening. So uh, it's a good day to uh, it's a good uh, time to finish off the day with a uh, evening stroll here at Trelldenes. So, well, let's do it. We didn't find anything yesterday, <laughs> so uh, we decided to uh, make another move today and try and uh, do some uh, sifting and some digging for uh, shark's teeth once again. And then we're gonna move to another location and, uh, well, let's see what turns up today, if anything. Yeah, I'm gonna try some sifting here, see if anything thing turns up from the sifter. can find something No, doesn't seem to be anything here. Potentially could find some uh, ancestor, an ancestor to, to the Megalodon and some sand tigers, maybe some makos, something. I know there is, there's gonna be teeth here, it's just a matter of finding them. So far there's no luck, unfortunately. It's super hot today. My cousin is uh, <laughs> currently working on a uh, piece of uh, sunshade. I don't know if uh, it's an umbrella that he's uh, got stuck to a stick. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see how that turns out. Sounds, looks pretty good, actually. <laughs> well, let's continue. The only thing that's turned up so far is a piece of a um, of a bellum knight. It's a uh, Cretaceous squid-like creature. This is the the inner rostrum, the inner shell. It's agatized. It's quite a pointy little beauty. Uh, it's not something I'm gonna keep, but it's still nice to see that it's actually there. Actually, are some fossils here. <laughs> After all, well, let's continue. So far, it's kind of a bust here. Uh, there are quite a few of these. Uh, this is uh, some kind of iron clay concretions. It's a uh, trace fossil. There are quite a number of these lying around here. It's a uh, digging burrow of some kind of shrimp or some kind of animal. Oh, sorry, there it goes, better soon. Well, not the most exciting thing, but still a fossil. 